Did I move my couch to this spot of my house just for this video? Yes, I did. Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi my name is Janelle and if you are not new here, hi my name is still Janelle. Thank you so much for being here. So, today I am in my new apartment filming. I love it. This is like home now and I am like so enjoying it. Um, the decor is my fave. Um, I am loving it. Apartment tour to come. Also a bookshelf tour to come. So I know you guys are probably like no. Um, you will see those in a few weeks. But yeah, so this is going to be the new setup, I think. Um, I am like super okay with it. Like, I love it. I, I think it's great. So today, as you notice by the title, title is my April TBR. However, I have now made it into a game and I am super, super excited about it because I've kind of been struggling with my TBRs each month. I don't like the idea of just like picking out my book. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit more fun and I thought it would be a little bit more fun for you guys to watch if I made a game out of it. Also because I love watching like Book Rose do her TBR avatar and like all these other people that just like do like spin the wheel, you know? Like I just think it's so much more fun um, to see like what fate gives them rather than them just picking it off the shelf. So yes, so we are going to be turning this into a, a game. I am going to be screen recording my phone for you guys so that you can see um, what I'm doing. Um, so I downloaded this app called Raffle Name, okay? And it basically is like a wheel. It's like a random generator kind of thing. Um, and it's going to be giving me a bunch of random prompts to use to pick my books. Um, I did write a lot of the prompts and just stuck them in here so it's just going to randomly generate them um, for me to you know pick a book based off the prompt that it gives me randomly generated um but before we get into the video obviously make sure to subscribe down below and i also want to say that i am so so excited to be back filming in real time for you guys it is so fun um i have totally missed it i haven't filmed in like a month because I pre-recorded everything and then just like scheduled it to upload for the month of March because March was so busy um but yeah and also me and Jonathan do have a honeymoon vlog that we will be uploading to this channel I'm still be looking up for that I'm not really sure when because we still need to edit it but it will be coming soon so stay tuned um but on to the TBR game. So on this app, you can create like different wheels and I have an April TBR wheel, an A to Z wheel, and a color wheel. The A to Z and color wheels are wheels based off of a prompt in the April TBR wheel. So we are going to go ahead and click that and then we're going to click this black arrow so that we can, you know, get to it. Um, it's going to ask me a few questions. I'm just going to answer the questions real quick. Oh, it's also going to give me a million ads. It does this too. Um, it's really fun. I <laughs> I, I really love the interruptions. Okay, so you can click continue and then it's going to ask you if you want to activate the automatic raffle and we do not because it's just going to spin, give you a winner, spin and give you a winner and it doesn't like let you stop. Um, and we don't want them to record it because we are already recording it. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's click it. I'm excited. Okay, raffle. First one. is next in a series. Yes, yes, I am so excited. Okay, so I'm currently reading A Curse of Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kennerer, and it's like the Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, I'm intentionally reading it because I am coming out of a reading slump and it's really helping me, um, but I have been wanting to purchase the next book because I'm loving the book right now. I'm like halfway through it. And I'm loving it. So that just gives me an excuse to purchase the next one, which I believe it's like a heart. So I don't even know. I don't know. But I'm going to purchase the next book. Okay. That, that's going to be, I don't know if Jonathan will approve, but I'm going to fit it in the budget and I'm, I'm going to, I will do it. Anyways, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Since I don't physically own that, I'm just going to purchase it or I'm going to listen to it on audiobook. Either way, that is on my TBR. Next, 
Oh, I should also say that I think I'm going to do seven spins. No, I'm going to do eight spins. And because I usually can read about eight books in a month um, with this much free time that I now have because I'm not planning a wedding anymore. So we're going to do eight spins. We can have eight books on our TBR. And then I am making this a challenge for myself. So if I don't finish all of the books on my TBR, I cannot purchase any books for the upcoming month. And I have to take the whatever books I did not finish that month and put it on the next month's TBR, which means less spins. So hopefully this will motivate me and push me just to kind of finish books. Um, so yes, and then I think that's all the, oh, and yes, my next rule. <laughs> if one of the books reappears on my TBR three times, I then have to unhaul that book because it just means I'm not getting to it and I think it's just going to motivate me to make sure I am reading all of my books instead of just buying a bunch of books and barely reading them. So yes, that's what we're doing. And now the next one, we're running. Don't know what appliance that is. Second one are titled with three words or less. Ooh. Okay. I think I know what book I'm going to pick for this. And the reason I'm going to pick this one is because I'm nervous it won't end up on my TBR and I really want to read it. But it is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. So this I have been dying to read. Like this is one of my most anticipated releases of 2021. You guys know that if you watched my video. If you didn't, I will link it in the description box below. You should check it out. I have a part one and a part two. But anyways. This one, I got it in my book of the month subscription. I was going to just order it, but I wanted to wait and see if book of the month would have it, and they did, so I bought it. Um, this one, I am super, super excited about. I'm going to read you the synopsis so that you guys also know, um, but it says, hidden in the depths of 18th century London, a secret apothecary shop caters to an unusual kind of clientele. Women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure named Nella, who sells well-disguised poisons to use against the oppressive men in their lives. Nella's dark world is no place for her newest patron, a pre precocious 12-year-old girl named Eliza Fanning, but their unexpected bond sparks a string of consequences that echoes through the centuries. 200 years later, aspiring historian Caroline Parswell discovers an aged apothecary file in the River Thames as she is newly grappling with the searing betrayal of her husband's infidelity, a curious research project is exactly the distraction Caroline needs. But when she discovers a link between the vial and London's long unsolved apothecary murders, Caroline's unpended presence soon collides with an explosive history, binding her fate to Nella's and Eliza's in a stunning twist that transcends the barrier of time. So I don't know what it is about this book, Actually, I do. Number one, the cover is beautiful. Secondly, I am just like all for like long unsolved murder mysteries. You know, I just, I really like to read about murder mysteries. Again, I have issues, but you're here, so clearly you have them too, right? That's what that means. Okay, anyways. Um, but I am super excited to read this one, so I'm really glad that it is now added to my TBR. Um, so, yes, okay, next one. Okay, I'll stop talking. We'll go to the next one. Running number three, a romance. Okay, um, I actually have not read a romance in a long time and it's mainly because I don't usually like them. But I'm sure I could find one. Okay, so the book I am going to pick for this, which is a romance, is Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. So I've been wanting to read this for a long time as well. I think I got it in my February, yes, my February book of the month box. And I just haven't been able to get to it. And it's honestly, it's not that big. So I think it'll be good. Like so far we haven't gotten any like super large books, um, but I think it's gonna be good. Let me read you the synopsis. It's beautiful. Because with her newly completed PhD in astronomy in hand, Grace Porter goes on a girl's trip to Vegas to celebrate to celebrate, she's a straight-A, hard-working, high achiever. She is not the kind of person who goes to Vegas and gets drunkenly married to a woman whose name she doesn't know until she does exactly that. This one beautiful, spontaneous moment ends, oh, up ends Grace's carefully laid life plans, staggering under the weight of her parents' expectations, a struggling job market, and feelings of burnout. Grace flees her home in Portland for a summer in New York with the wife she barely knows. 
In New York, she's able to ignore all the constant questions about her future and falls hard for her creative and gorgeous wife, Yuki Yam Yam Yamamoto? I don't know. Okay, so my camera just cut out, obviously, so if you missed some of that, I'm sorry. Basically, I put Honey Girl on the pile. It's really all that happened. Okay, so now on to our fourth spin. What are we gonna get? Space or Galaxy. Okay, so this is for Space or Galaxy in the title or on the cover. The reason that I did this is because this is one of the prompts for the buzzword readathon, I think is what it's called, um, done by Books and Layla, which I will link her channel down below. She's awesome. I love to watch her. Um, mm, do I even have that? I honestly don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, like space in the on the cover. This is Moonrise by Sarah Crossan. So this I actually got in like a used bookstore. Um, it's in great condition, by the way. Um, but I got this in a used bookstore, and I just haven't like been able like to get around to it. Um, but this is perfect because that is clearly space. You know, um, and Moon is in the title, so. I think it fits, but it says 17 year old Joe hasn't seen his brother in 10 years. Ed didn't walk out on the family, not exactly. It's something more brutal. Ed's locked up on death row. Now his execution day has been set and the clock is ticking. Joe is determined to spend those last weeks with his brother, no matter what other people think and no matter whether Ed committed the crime, but did he? And does it matter in the end? From acclaimed and award-winning author Sarah Cross in this heartbreaking, timely novel asks big questions. What value do you place on life? What can you forget? And just how do you say goodbye? So I think this might be a little bit of like a sad tearjerker, like very, you know, like sentimental, like to the heart. Um, but we're gonna go for it. Um, I am super excited about this. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, now on to our fifth spin. Please be something good. Okay, most popular. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh, okay, well the first book that I see that I actually haven't read and it's said to be one of the best books is The Hunger Games. I know, I haven't read The Hunger Games. It's really strange, but, but I guess it is going to be one of the books for this month. So, Hunger Games, if you haven't heard of it, you're living under a rock. So, that's, yeah, okay. So, this is considered one of the best books ever and it was like the first one that I saw that I owned so okay that is perfect so Hunger Games it is okay back to our sixth spin which is color okay so for color I have to go to my color wheel um, which means I'm going to leave this and the next time we spin it's not going to say sixth winner, it's going to say first winner again, but it's fine because then we're just going to go to two. So we're going to finish this. I'm actually going to screenshot this so that I have it for later because I have to put all these books back on my shelf. Okay, yes. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go to my color wheel and we're going to spin that one and then i basically have to pick a book based on like if it has that color in the title or on the cover page so i guess we'll see and hopefully it's a good book i really hope it's a good book okay running let's see what color we get black okay Ooh, i actually have a lot of black books too but they're more over there okay so so far this tbr is going great because i just found a book on my tbr that has black like it's a black cover um and i have yet to start reading it and it is circuit and dove by shelby maherin maherin not really sure but i've been wanting to read this for so long and i just haven't been able to pick it up because once again i'm indecisive and everything just piles up so I guess we're adding this, um, which means that I'm like starting a million series, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll add it. Okay. Let's see what we get. Sarah J. Mass. Okay. So I don't think I own 
any books by Sarah J. Mass. But it does give me an excuse to buy one of her books. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I don't think I am. No, no, I don't. Okay, perfect. So I think that's gonna be my excuse to start the Akatar series. I'm really excited about that. That actually like really works out in my favor. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to the next one. So our very last spin is a new release. Well, frick, I already did I already did the Lost Apothecary because I thought it wasn't gonna make it under this TBR. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna have to do so that I don't purchase another book because I, I can't, I'm already going to be purchasing one. Oh no, two because of the Sarah J. Mouse book. Okay, so <laughs> this sucks. So this one says the third winner is to start a new series. I've literally started one, two, three, four. I'll be starting four series this month. I don't think I want to do that to myself. Mm, I don't know. I could, like I have a lot of series, like I could start. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm not happy about it, but I'm gonna do it. And I know which book I'm gonna pick. So this next book that I'm picking, I'm picking because Jonathan has been dying for me to read this book for so long and I have yet to like get around to it. Like I started it, but I never finished it. And I was honestly confused because I wasn't really paying attention while I was reading. So I'm going to read Havenfall by Sarah Holland. The second book actually just released of this, which makes it technically a series. Um, and we own that one too. So then I am starting a series that I don't have to purchase. Um, <laughs> I'm just curious, like what is the next spin? Most recent. Okay, so most recently purchased. Okay, most recently purchased would have been like Phoenix Flame or Cinderella is Dead. And Phoenix Flame kind of goes along with this. So I feel like that's a sign that I just need to read this. So yeah, okay, so I guess, oh goodness. This is my, 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 my TBR pile for the month of April. Just picture, Court of Thorns and Roses right on top and picture this is the second book not the first one um but I feel like that's a good little pile um I haven't read this many books in a long time at once um so I guess we'll see how it goes okay so I guess those are gonna be the books that I'm reading this month um I'm actually really excited I think it's gonna be a successful uh, reading month. Uh, the only thing I need to do is make sure I finish A Curse of Dark and Lonely like ASAP. That way I give myself time to read all of these books. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this new like TBR thing we're going to be doing. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So far I'm enjoying it because I have some books on here I probably would have never reached for, but now, but now I have to read them. So I think it's going to be good. I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop talking so that you guys can click on whatever video you're going to click on after this. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, once again, I'm so excited to be back filming real time for you guys. And I guess I'll see you guys, I don't know, the next time. I don't even know when the next time is, but it'll, there will be a next time. <laughs> okay, bye!